already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the present time. Second week of October. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy. Well, we got the Ace of Swords. And it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, this Ace of Swords is actually showing that um, there's some type of new beginning here. Now, because it has a sword, it means that something has to be cut out. Or something needs to be put a stop to. Or there could be some type of separation from a person, situation, or thing. And then there's this brand new beginning that, that happens. Yeah, so, I'm sorry I have some distractions here. Uh, okay, so, it's with this Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel that someone is prying in on you or stalking you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, well, you just might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Yeah, so the recent past energy between you, you and your person, or the person you're connected to or in a relationship with, Ace of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords. So... It looks like uh, you were dealing with someone who was manipulative. They used tactics, strategy. They played games, maybe mind games, manipulation. I'm sorry, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about the distraction. I don't want to redo the whole video all over, so forgive me for this one. I'll do a bonus reading for Libra in a, f in a few days. So, like I said, whoever you are dealing with, with this recent past energy, it's showing that they played mind games. They were manipulative. They used a lot of strategy and tactics with you. They could have also been stalking you. And maybe you didn't know it, but that's what they were doing. Um, now, like I said, you realize that in order to have a fresh new start, or you wanted a new beginning, but not with this person. You realize that you needed to cut out this person or have them stop doing whatever they were doing. Being manipulative, strategic, playing mind games. And like I said, this person did stalk you. So you knew, you knew that you needed to cut out this connection or just put a stop to a lot of things that were going on with, with this person in regards to you. And they kept tabs on you. So they probably drove by your house a lot. You probably watched where you work. And this person liked to see what you do when you think no one's watching. Yeah. The stalker. That's what you hear. So you wanted a new beginning. And it was not with this person. So you knew, like I said, there were things that you needed to cut out and put a stop to. In regards to this connection. Okay, so. Alright, so we made it through the recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's move on over. And let's take a look and see what's coming up for, what's coming up. The present, which will be around the second week of October. Well, we got this page of pentacles. 
and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles, this card can, it can indicate boredom in some way. So you may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. Now, the Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. And it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries are over for a while, and that things in, things overall, things in general, will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy and share your wealth, share your happiness with others. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is great. Now, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles because it's it's the tops in the Pentacles. So this is Nine of Pentacles. It's just short of one Pentacle, so not bad. Yeah, so what we got here, Page of Pentacles clarified by Nine of Pentacles. So this person is going to be reaching out to you. Coming up, if he has it all, if he or she has it already, they'll be reaching out to you. They want to talk. This person, um, you're bored with them though. Yeah, you've you've um, lost interest. Uh, the connection for you has lost some of its luster, for whatever type of connection it was. And you're looking for your your nine of pentacles. If you can't have the ten, you'll take a nine. <laughs> so you're looking for a good relationship. You want to enjoy the finer things in life. That's what the nine of pentacles is about. You don't have time. You're not interested in silly games, silly mind games, being manipulative, having someone in your energy like that, using tactics and strategy. Yeah, you realize you need to cut it out. That's what you're working on, or that's what you're doing, or that's what you will be doing. Because you want a good relationship. Like I said, if you can't have the Ten of Pentacles, you'll take the Nine of Pentacles. And you're just bored with this person. Yeah, you find them immature. Page of Pentacles, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that can be a student. That can be youth, immaturity, or someone younger than you. And the page is about boredom. The page of pentacles is about boredom. You see, he's only got one pentacle. He's got too much time on his hands. So you're not really interested, but this person is going to reach out to you. If they haven't already. So, let's see what we got for the challenge. We got the ten of cups. And it's with the higher effect. Now, the Ten of Cups is another one of the most uplifting cards you can receive. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Great cards in the tarot. But this Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You can also feel like you're spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture here, too. Great card to see, regardless of any question. Now, it's with the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant... It's a very moral and traditional type of energy. You could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called on for advice or help. With some important matters, your intelligence and empathy, it puts you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They'll be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity, Quite frankly, they're the real deal. 
of True Blue. They're highly admired individuals who walk the walk, talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. We have so when the Hierophant talks about love and relationships, and if you're asking how your current partner is feeling, well, just know that they love you very deeply. It's a love that cannot be broken. It cannot be broken. No, nope, not with the Hierophant. So the challenge, Ten of Cups clarified by Hierophant. Well, like I said, you're looking for your... Like, if you can't have the Ten of Pentacles, you take the Nine of Pentacles. You're over, the, you're over this connection with this person who's so immature. You're over that, the games they play. And, but they do, like I said, this person is reaching out to you. They're gonna have, they're gonna come across as, as they change. Yeah, they're going to make like they're different. Because they see that you, you have pulled away. And the things that they did behind your back, they might have some regrets. But they reach out to you. Page of Pentacles can be about messages. So this person reaches out to you, um, trying to make you see that they're different. They change, or they might try to come across that way. They want to make you think that they're like the Hierophant. They're, they're um, honest, they stand tall. In their beliefs and convictions, they're, they're genuine, they're the real deal, they're what you want. They want to make you believe that they're the ten of, ten of Cups. They're your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Yeah. So, they're going to, when they reach out to you, they're going to make you want to believe that they've, they've changed. Plain and simple. Like, they, they're going to try to make you think they're like the Hierophant. Genuine and the real deal. There's no games being played. If you thought there was some, they're going to try to make you think that it wasn't them. Or they, they're done playing games. And they want the end all be all with you. This person sees you as a dream come true. And they're going to try to have this type of connection with you. So that's the challenge. So they come back and they try to make life they've changed for the better. Now, the outcome is the Hermit and the Ten of Swords. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card, though. You could be in a frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card. It could be about trying to do really hard the right thing, but you got to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So it's with this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, it's, actual, it's actually a signal to be careful where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. You cannot trust the situation or think that it's stable. No. And the answer is no. Yeah, if you look at the picture, no. <laughs> Don't trust it. But try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another, another door opens and you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So the outcome, Libra... The Hermit, clarified by Ten of Swords. Well, it looks like you, you might decide to spend some time alone. Because your initial thoughts was to cut this person out. 
and get on with things, have a new beginning without them. Too immature for you. And you had, and eventually your, um, what happened was you lost interest. Yeah, this person could be younger than you. But they played a lot of mind games, manipulative. They were manipulative, strategic, manipulation. And you knew this person stalked you. And if you didn't, well, they did. So, yeah, you just want some time alone. They're reaching out to you to make you think that they, they've changed and they're different. Like I said, they see that you're pulling away and that you're trying to move move out of this connection. So, you go into hermit mode because you figure that's the best way to, for you to figure things out. But the album is showing that you just, you just don't trust the person. You don't trust the connection. You feel like the connection is ruined. It's a failure. It's... It's a flop. You, um, there's defeat here. And you just feel like it's a... It's some situation or connection you just don't trust anymore. Maybe you did at one point. But yeah. You feel like with this Ten of Swords here, you, you're going to start to feel if you're not already that um, something is not quite right. That's what the Ten of Swords can mean when it comes to love questions. So it's saying don't close your eyes to the truth. Accept the reality. You know something's not quite right. Yeah, and that's why you're not trusting it. And you just, you go, you go into hermit mode. So, yeah, a lot of times when you're away from the person, you're not listening to what they have to say, you guys are apart from each other, you can go get a better picture. You can get some clarity and things come to light. So that's a very smart move. Yeah. So you go spend time alone. And then it's interesting because you you just don't trust it. So you're just trying to get some inner clarity. But I'm, I'm thinking that this is, this is not the person. Yeah. Unless they really, really did change. But. I'm getting that for the challenge. They're going to make you think they change. So, yeah, but I don't know why. It looks like you're contemplating, though. Maybe maybe they said all the right things. So you're just going into hermit mode to get rid of some baggage, clear your mind. So maybe this person impressed you a little bit. Or maybe you just don't want to hurt their feelings. But you don't trust it. So go with your gut instincts. So Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's resonating. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those also. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So please come back and check out my next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the, the next reading will. Also, some of my subscribers, they ask, well, how could these readings be if I'm not dealing with, if I'm not in a relationship? Well, you have to keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So your person could be a friend or a family member or a situation. So I just have to keep an open mind for these readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you are doing well. I hope you have a great day. And take care.